Hello and welcome back to JD's Art Channel. My name is JC D'Angelo and today is the start of Marker Monday. So every week I would I will be doing um a specific thing. Uh the vid the video before this you should watch, it's about five seconds long. It's just a a small video and it explains it shows what I'm going to do for the week there's going to be on Monday's marker Monday on two Tuesday's tutorial Tuesday and on Saturday it's sketchbook Saturday but at the bottom if you look of that video on the bottom it says like a notice that there might be different videos from those exact dates such as videos that I'm doing with guests or unboxing videos which I have not done yet but one day we'll do so today what we're doing with marker Monday I have something called alcohol based markers if you don't know what alcohol based markers are let me show you let me get them alright so these are my markers okay you do not need markers you can have crayons you can have colored pencils um you can have really anything that draws or you can just have like washable markers from crayola that's fine um but what i have here are <laughs> i'm sorry if i pronounce this wrong Dabo and showed shodo 96 alcohol based markers i got these from amazon um let me show you what it looks like inside so it comes with a colorless blender every pack no matter what like no matter what it is it's crazy here let me show you one Alrighty, so every type of alcohol based marker brand, any type, will come with a colorless blender. It it's part of the name. It does not color, it's meant for blending. Do never use these. These they don't they don't blend well. Trust me, just don't. They don't... All they do is get dirty, to be honest. They don't blend at all. You can just have, like, let's say a dark shade of blue. You put that down. Then you put a lighter shade of blue. You just go over it, the middle, with the lighter shade of blue, and it blends out. You do not need this. This is worse than just putting the color down. So, don't use your colorless blender. Which brings me down to 95 markers. That's a lot of markers, you might say. There are packs of 325 markers. These are cheap. These are not Copic markers. These are not Ohu markers. These are alcohol-based markers I found off Amazon. <laughs> um, they're around 20 to 25 bucks. You can find like actual ohu markers um oh oh ohuhu markers um on amazon like 32 of them for around 20 bucks but like i can see the difference between these and copic markers but i don't really see the difference between them with ohu markers unless you get the ohu brush tip a uh, brush tip is a flexible nib on the side, on the, um, I don't know how to say it, the nib, it's a flexible brush tip, not all markers have these, and although I want a brush nib, I don't have one, these markers don't have one, but I'm going to take out a color and show you what they look like, so this is a color, it has the names, I'm not sure if you can see it, it says, Number seven, it might be backwards. It says number seven, and then it says cosmic on it. That's the color. So if you look here on the gray band, 
it means it's the thinner side always, or you can look at the picture and the wording on it. Right there, I don't know if you can see it, but that says fine, um, and it shows a little nib. So this is what is called a bullet nib. It is not flexible, kind of squeaky, but it works. The other side now, it says broad on it, and it shows a picture of it. This is a chisel nib. All two-sided uh, alcohol-based markers have a chisel nib, no matter what. They either have a bullet nib or a brush nib. And this one has a bullet nib and the uh, um, chisel, chisel nib. So I have 90... Well, 95 of these, because I don't use the colorless blender. And I'm going to show you how to draw a toucan, or toucan, however you pronounce it. I'm going to be showing you, this is some one that I made. I'm not going to be showing you exactly the same one. But here is something that you can see. Just ignore that. So there, there's a toucan or a toucan colored with my markers. There you go. It's covering that because you don't you don't need to know about that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me get some paper and we can get right to it. Oh wait, first I gotta show you some new supplies I got. So let me show you. Alrighty, so, I have, um, I bought all the same thing on Amazon, I bought, it, it doesn't come with this, this is mine, but it comes, um, with, like, pencils and, like, chalk, and you need this, if you want to be a professional artist, you need this, this is something called a blending stump. When you're shading, like, let's say a ball on a table, when you add the shade, you, you usually use your finger to rub it for the shadow, right? This makes it cleaner and doesn't have your finger dirty, and it makes it so much smoother, which makes it way more realistic. It also comes um, with about, I think, five of these pencils. It does not have any eraser. Good thing. It comes with any reason. So, yeah, I also got these off Amazon, too. These are Mr. Pen. I can't re I think these are point five. Um, here, let me show you. Mr. Pen. And I love these. They're in a triangle shape, just so you know, so they don't roll off like that. So they can't roll if you drop them on your desk. Also, if you want to be a professional artist, you need a white gel pen, which I will be getting soon, and you will need fine liners. So, got some fine liners, <laughs> and it, um, this doesn't come with the pencil pack, but what does is free sharpener. Whoops. It's sharpener is really good it has two sides and some people say like one side one side is too small for my pencil the other one's too big try using the small side just a bunch it works i don't know why they argue about that the last and second thing is probably the most important besides the markers one of my favorite sketchbooks. So, this one is from Artica. It's the brand, and you can't really see it, but there's an imprint of the name in it. And it looks very pretty on the back. Well, they give you a free sticker. I just smacked that on the back. It says Create Better. And then, let me show you. On the cover I personally love on the opposite side of this right here the cover it 
is a bunch of doodles of daily items. Pencil, tennis ball, leaf, mug, uh, planet. Well, that's not really a daily item. But, you know, doodles, sunglasses, heart, book, star. You know, you can see everything on here. And the same thing on the back. Comes with a little lock that closes. Oh, yeah. If you want to see, this is something that I drew. Uh, board. <laughs> Um, alright, so that's it. Um, I just want to mention, my markers bleed through this. I just put some paper when I messed my art up and I can't fix it because they're markers. Can't go lighter, it can only go darker. <laughs> um, so, they bleed through the page, but when I mess up, I just put that messed up page under it so it doesn't bleed through to the next page so yeah um i think it's pretty good otherwise and also i have to, i probably have to mention if you want to get your own markers alcohol, alcohol based markers i don't it doesn't matter if it's copic copic markers are like the color of the rainbow is like 40 dollars um but they're really good some professional artists have them they all fade in sunlight, unfortunately. So just keep them out of sunlight. I haven't had a problem of them fading yet. So enough of this talking. Let's get to drawing. Alrighty. So here you can see I have my sketchbook. Um, I have my, my case that I showed you next to me. And I have my papers. Oops. Well, <laughs> it's okay. So I will be showing you... Um, I'm going to be saying the colors. You don't need the exact colors. You can find similar colors. You can use different colors. I'm here to help, not for you to copy. You can copy if you want. I don't care. <laughs> it's your decision. I'm just here for entertainment and fun. And I don't know if you want to learn art. Here I am. Starting off small, hoping to go big. <laughs> Alright, um... So yeah, I should also mention that I have Prismacolor, so if you might you might see me like swap between these two. This is Prismacolor. Um, it's a Prismacolor, just the color blue, and this one is a Prismacolor from for red. Yeah, and it paints blue and red. I use it to sketch usually. Alright, so, let's get to it. Alrighty, so, I'm going to be using my blue Prismacolor to sketch out the token. And first we're going to, um, take a, like, just break the body up into simple shapes, you know? So for the head, you're just going to make a quick circle. If I might be going too fast, you can pause the video. If I'm going too slow, you can <laughs> fast forward the video because I do that sometimes. I alternate. <laughs> there you go. So uh, you just have a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and this depends on you. You can have the body just straight forward like this. You can have it tilted this way, tilted this way. It's up to you. I am going to be drawing it tilted this way. So you're just going to do an oval from here. It's a nice long oval. And as you can see here, I messed up. <laughs> so you're just going to come. Make a nice round oval. Again, nothing has to be perfect. It doesn't have to look like mine. If yours look, looks different, it's better because you're putting your own creativity into it. And that's what art is about. <laughs> People say art is for fun. Um, I like to think of art as a hobby. So, because <laughs> I do it a lot. I just don't do it on my channel, which I will be since I have a schedule now. So, hopefully those days are over, over, so, okay, so we have the over, the oval that's tilted, 
So from here, I'm going to start drawing the beak. The beak is uh, hooked like this. So it, it's nice and round and it goes down. That's what I mean by hooked. It has the tip and then there's a, just a straight, straight line from there. You can make it smile, whatever, how cartoony you want it. Um, in most toucans, the tip of their beak is um, a primary color, is what I see. And like references from like Pinterest or whatever. Um, so I would I put like a primary color at the tip, and then I put like um, secondary colors on the rest of the beak. Um, so yeah, there's the beak. It's just kind of like a it's half a circle if you think about it. And then at the end, the top goes a little bit lower than the bottom. So, yeah. I'm sorry for any background noise if you hear it. If you hear it. And if, if yours is different from mine, I might need a neck. So, put the toucan or a toucan or neck if it needs one. Uh, mine doesn't because it's just there, so... Next, we're going to be drawing the wings. Now, I am not very good at drawing wings. So, what I think of it is as half a circle. And half a circle. I want you to think about perspective when you are drawing the wings. Um, and then, for the legs, I'm going to be erasing the front part that you can see right there. And before the leg comes out, it has like a, kind of like a bushy, bushy sort of like, I don't know. Like when it starts, there's more feathers that come down from it. So I'm doing that. And then from behind, you can see that too. And then I'm going to put the legs here. So it goes like that. I like to put the middle to one piece like that. And then you're going to do it here, too. If you can't see, it is fine because I'm going to go over it with fine liner. And from there, you can just copy it. So there you go. You have the chicken shape here, if you can't see it. You have sort of like the basics. Everything you can see broken down. And I'm going to draw the eye. Eye is important. <laughs> Um, I like to add a little gleam in my eye, always. So, I'm going to, like, leave a little bit of half a circle there. And then it has sort of like a ring around the eye of a color. And then also, I want you to erase the part that, like, the head's a circle, right? I want you to erase the bottom part of the circle that's connected to the oval. And... Uh, about chest level, I want you to draw just a bunch of like little spikes. So the fur actually, or the feathers, what I call it fur, the feathers actually change from there. And also at the top, it's a different color. So I'm going to add that. And then wings are there. Alright, the branch, the branch, the branch. Oh god. So you can make it however you want, again. You can copy. Um, you can post it anywhere. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm just going to add that. Just a little, bunch of little lines on the branch. I like to add some sort of like a square or a circle on there. Just like here. Like here, look, I have like a rectangle there. A nice rectangle, or you can do like a circle, or whatever, or you can do nothing, it's up to you. So, I'm going to go over this with my fine liner, so I'll be right back to, like, you know, so you don't have to watch me trace all this. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I went over this with my Mr. Pen fine liner, and that is what it looks like, guys. Um, not too bad. It looked kind of cartoony. That was the point. 
not very happy with the legs. They're kind of thick. Um, but let's get to coloring them. I'm going to do this this way so you can actually tell what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to use, for the beak, I like to do a nice bright red. So I'm going to use number 14, which is, actually, I'm not using 14. Um, which one do I want to use? Um, okay, I'm just going to use deep red, which is number 10, right here, and I, I always use my bullet nibs for some reason, and there we go, just the little tip there, again, no exact, it's fine if you don't have the exact colors, the exact set or anything. Okay, so I'm going to grab a nice green. I'm going to use number 59, which is pale green. And I'm not coloring the whole beak with it. I'm just making kind of like a swervy, wavy line and I'm filling all that in. I want to use a nice bright blue for the rest of the beak. I'm trying to go quickly here. Okay, um... I'm going to use turquoise blue, which is number 68, there, and I like to start from this side. We're going to have to blend the green and the blue together, so I'm going to go back to our pale green, yep, back to our pale green, because we layered the blue over, which means we have to put the green back. So again, number 59, which is pale green. And you're just gonna go over that middle section. And there you go, you blended it out. There you go, your first blend letter. <laughs> so there you go. You've got a, a nice fade of color there. Alright, I'm going to use gray for the body. What gray do I want? I want a cool gray. The difference between cool gray and warm gray, warm grays have this kind of brown tint. Cool grays are normal gray that you would see. Uh, I'm going to use CG3. CG3, cool gray. There's a lot of cool grays and warm grays here. So bear with me. Alright, so I'm going to use the top of his head. Oh, I'm just going to fill. Here, oh, bear with me carefully. So all two fins have a different coloration on their chest here. So just ignore that for now. Just make a cool gray on the wings, on the, bo the body. And remember, don't go on the chest yet. We're not doing that. If you do, it's, it's not going to look as good, trust me. <laughs> Just bear with me while I color this. So I'm just going over with the blue. I mean, not the blue, the gray, the cool gray. And leaving the white spots. There you go. Now we're doing um the the part I was telling you not to do um so like the the chest color I'm going to use lemon yellow yes I'm using lemon yellow which is n number 35 there you go and I'm going to use that for the this part Oh yeah, it has like a, a ring around its eye. I'm going to use a nice, uh, I think I'm, I'm not going to use pale green. Pale green I use for the beak. So I'm going to use grass green. And let me take it out. You guys can see it. Grass green is number 47. There you go. 
and I'm going to put it around the eye, not the pupil, just around the eye. It's a nice dark green, so it differs from this green here. I'll add a little mark here, because why not? It's my piece. <laughs> And then I'm going to grab an orange. There's a, there's a little color called orange. <laughs> Number 23. For the legs. Alright, alright. I know this video is long, but if you stayed with me, good job. <laughs> if you stayed with me for this long, good job. <laughs> Hopefully you're not bored. Um, I would be glad to take um, ideas. Also, subscribe to It's Hobby 03. Spelled I T um, apostrophe S. No spaces um, and no capitals. So, I T apostrophe S A M J. A V I zero three. Subscribe to his channel. He does um, like gaming videos and funny videos. He's actually one of my good friends from school. If you watch him, good. <laughs> if you watch my channel, even better. Cause now you're watching both of our channels. So yeah, one of my favorite videos is called Resur Resur Resurrection. You have to watch um, the one where he throws away um, Pickle Rick, and then they re they resurrect his pickle again. It's not Pickle Rick, but they they resurrect Mr. Pickle, and it's funny and it's good. So watch it. <laughs> okay, so for the for the no, this is the last thing. The like the branch. I'm going to use natural oak, which is n number 91, and just go over it. We are not done, actually. Shading. God, if you are a professional artist or planning to be one, please shade. Shading is good. It, it gives life to your picture. And doesn't make it look like a cartoon, so please shade. If you don't shade, that's all good, but I'd rather you do, even if you're like using like crayons right now, you can shade with any art supply. So, please shade. <laughs> with shading, I usually use like a mix between like a light and a dark purple. For like really any color it gives it a nice nice look to it and my purple that i'm going to be using is actually my lightest purple this is this is pale lavender yes uh it's pale lavender the color is pale lavender number 145 there and then I'm going to be going over. So just if you're shading, please copy like where where, I, where I'm going. So right under the wing, right here, you're going to go over it with your purple. You can add some feathers or whatever, like just sticking out, kind of messy there. So you can add some shading to the leg. And this one's farther back, so you can color this whole thing. Give it a nice dark look. And then on the yellow, it really stands out, so I'm not gonna do much. But right here, I'm going to go over with the fur here. And then just a little. There you go. And that's it. We're done. That is it. Let me let me sign it real quick.
Yeah, and that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Coming on a journey with me. This has been a fun time. Um, as the new start of a new week and a new schedule. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a magnificent day. And, you know, just have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.